YouTube, you're watching MD95 TSI. So I got the uh, video up of the unboxing and uh, took it for a flight. I've only flown it one time. And everything that everyone has said about this battery are right on the money. This thing is a pain in the damn neck. I pushed this button here, tried to snatch this thing out, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, and didn't even realize, oh, well, let me do it this way, didn't even realize it's got the same thing on the bottom here. <laughs> but if you push both of them, they are hard as heck, but they will come out. So, <clears throat> we know what time it is, <clears throat> right? Just as all the videos are watched, it's time to remove four screws and remove this battery. Okay, I have two original Bugs batteries. I believe they're the same mall. 1800, 1800, 25, 25, yep, same exact batteries. Identical, right here. Two blacks, one white, that's it, okay? I use these for my Bugs. They're the Tenergy 7.4 30C high powered packs. Really nice batteries. I don't see, um, well, I guess if I timed it, you would see a, a little bit of a different in, difference in time. Because you're talking 1800 25C versus 2200 30C. So you can see there's going to be a difference there. And there are a couple people did videos on these. But uh, the Tenergy pack, Team Tenergy, yeah, go for that. And I've tried it in the bugs, I'll show you. Fits in there very well. It goes all the way in, so by the time you tuck that in, put this guy on there. Now I noticed on the bugs, the red is on the left. It's not on this. On the bugs three, it's on this side. On the bugs two, it is on the right side, it's red. Bugs three, left side is red. And I do know that for sure, so. Which they only, XT 30s will only go one way, so. You're pretty much good anyway. But anyway, figure that's in there, that's in there, that wire's tucked, and then put that cap on there the way everyone's saying, you know, take it off here, which let's get that done. Because let's, let's get these batteries out here. That's gonna, is the first step to this process, I believe. Is getting this battery undone here. And I'm gonna do it right on. Uh, film here, detailed. Okay, I've gotten out the two bottom screws. Now let's work on these two top screws. Go in them at an angle like this. As you see, it's coming right out. Same thing, go over to this side, comes right out. Okay, that should release our door. There's our door, okay? This is what everyone says it makes much of a difference because you don't have this long pack on the end of it and you're trying to wiggle it in there and get it in. So let's see. Man, it snaps on much easier, I tell you that. I didn't have to force it. Oh, so much better. So, okay, I see. So put the bottom on, maybe. Let's pull this battery out of here. And I noticed it kind of will go sideways a little well. I know. That's my fault. See what I mean? They hang up right there in the front. I think that's due to the camera. The SD card slot thing. I don't see what down in there would stop it, but anyway. Looks like that's probably it. So looks like if you kind of set it on there like a hinge more or less. Maybe. I don't know if well. I guess you can't get it out, so yeah, so that, that will work good. That works very well. Yeah, much better. Still a pain in the neck, right? The old Bugs 3 just slid it in the back and it stayed. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, now, from here, I could just set that aside and use my own batteries. But I still like to have that as a battery too. It gives me more batteries. And everyone knows the more batteries you got, the better it is. See? Comes on. 
but I'm wondering about that sticking out right there. I think that's what's going to make the difference on me. Yep, it's not going to fit in there for me. So the tenergies will work because the way the way they go in, they kind of set in there. I don't know why this wants to keep going sideways on me in there though. Probably that foam that I got on it. Let me try to put the foam up. I do that for my Bugs 3 because I got to have the foam in there. Which seems to be making a mess in here. So, Alright, slide that off. Oh, look at me. Okay, put it upside down. Slide it in. Yeah, you see how it goes way up in there? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pause here, guys. This is my little... Everybody's got dogs. I got a bunny. Hey, buggy. Would you like to go in? You see, watch this, guys. He'll want to go in the house. Watch. Sometimes he can't make up his mind. Sometimes he does. <laughs> no? Okay. But he will go set at the door when he's ready to go in. And he will go to the door when he's ready to come out. Now, tell me that's not cute. Huh? You just want to keep making me get up and down, do you? <laughs> but anyway, sorry about that. Back to this. Who wouldn't mind that anyway, right? But anyway, so go in. And then, like I said, you have to turn it because of the way the bugs is. The bugs three. There we go. And then put this bad boy on there. And that is good. Huh. So... Pretty good and easy cheap battery mod. Cheap as in you don't gotta buy nothing, just a matter of taking it out. And like I said, I hate pulling on these, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end up putting some uh, piece of tape on here. I see what it is, it's the balance plug gets caught up where they stick out on the side there. So it's gotta be gentle going in and out and tap the black stuff in <laughs> the insulation. But anyway. I think they have to come out of the thing is what it is. I think I have to take this out of the tray. But then, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I might do that. Might do what Chris Riley was doing. Taking the bottom tray part and setting that in there with the battery. And I'll just run my Bugs 3's with the Tenergy packs. Which I'm going to get more of them because like I said they're very good. I think they're very very good. They work very well. So that's the mod, the battery mod for the Bugs 2C. I said simple as that, just pops on now, which works really nice. Because I flew it one time with this, and taking it in and out that couple times was a pain in the neck. But that's why they make mods, that's why they got YouTube, that's why everyone does videos. It's because if you don't know, you can get on there to get to know. There's many people doing this like unbelievable people doing this I noticed they had like prop guards here see watch guys he wants to go in now okay you sure you want to do it this time come on come on see <laughs> he's just confused he gets that way at times and then he'll come there and look at the door at me you want to come back out eventually but that's way look get it the bugs and then bugs oh ain't that cute haha <laughs> That's the real bugs for me, buddy. That's my bugs. That's my buddy right there. Yes, indeed. So you got to pull the sticker back, and then these halves will come off. And yeah, I'll just probably just slice down that with like a razor blade or something. That way, if I do use this piece, I could always go back to the original proprietary battery. Which they all they all try to do that if you notice they all try to make it to where you have to buy their batteries and I, I haven't even looked up the price of them batteries but I'm sure they're pretty well I can't say expensive but anyway like I was saying I noticed they have a uh, prop guard holes on here where you would put prop guards at but it didn't come with prop guards not that I want to set don't get me wrong I think they're terrible I think everything that has prop guards fly is totally different and that plastic motor is just like a lot to get over, I guess. I get why they do it. Like I said, this thing, if you haven't put your hands on this thing, I'm going to tell you. 
there's nothing there. Now let me show you the card I put in it actually. That's another thing, the SD card's a little tricky getting in and out of there. There it is, a PNY, I'm gonna get you in frame here. PNY 16 gig, 10 class, or class 10. Like I said, I got 128 gig, but I don't think it would hold it. I always pop that in and out a couple of times, click it in and out, make sure it works. I got some video on there from when I went and test flown it. Just haven't even tried it yet, so haven't you know looked at it, whatever. I'm right now uh, converting all of the unboxing video and all that for this, so I'll get that up so my YouTube family can check it out and new watchers. It, I honestly you might make it to my video but there's so many of them out there like everyone's doing this guy I'm a little late on getting it sorry but that's that's what it is there's some things that comes up to where you just can't take all your money and go buy a drone <laughs> we'd all love to right but anyway and I got like I said today in the mails coming the Eashin TX-03 I will do a, be, be doing an unboxing on that and a review on that also if there's anything on this guy you want me want to know, let me know. If you want me to take it apart and look inside, I'll do that. But I'll tell you right now, a video that already has done that. Chris Riley. I know I talk a lot about this guy. But I watch a lot of his videos, too. Real good YouTube brother. Uh, he's took it apart because he did, the, he did the antennas. He thought moving one here and one here would work perfect. But it, he said he put it back because it seemed like it did not work different, you know, that great for him. But anyway, go check his videos out. Don't let me lie to you. He'll tell you. Really good guy. Any shit has done a quite a few on these. He takes this thing crazy miles. I'll tell you what. That guy is not scared to take a uh, drone. If it says 12,000 meters. Any shit's going to take you to 12,000 meters, buddy. He's going to try it. I'm going to tell you. It's this type of guy he is. You know? He just... If it says what it is, it's if it says it's got a big block and it'll run everything down on the road, he's gonna go out there and push the gas pedal and try it. You know? That's that's what it's about. And I I do fly mine a ways away. And it's gonna be really weird flying this little guy away. Cause this versus the three DR unique or phantom, it's a big difference. And I'm sure the further this little thing gets out there, you're not gonna see it. I've had my bugs way out there. Bugs three. And I could barely see it, so we'll see. Hopefully the TX03, like I said, DJ Soul Force. I watched one of your videos of the bugs too. I can't remember if it was the W or the C. It was one of them, and you went 999 meters, and you asked your partner standing there what kind of signal he had, and he had a hundred percent view of the bird. Well, of what the bird was seeing, FPV. So that's what made me go, you know what? I think my Quantum Elites, I think I'm going to have to step up and buy me an Eashin TX-03. So that's what I did. And it's coming today again, like I said. We'll get it on there. We'll get it out and let's do it. But anyway, guys, today has been a very good day. Got the Bugs 2C in the mail. Like I said, I want to go back to, I, th I think it's cool that you really don't have to have eyeballs on this thing if you fly it way, way, way from you. Because it's like... Everyone remembers when you first bought that first toy drone, you first started with quads or drones, whatever you call it. I don't get upset by either name. It doesn't matter to me. I call them drones. I call them quads, whatever. But anyway, it's like that, okay? You remember that first one you got and you took it and it had that little cheap camera on it. And it you know what I mean? It didn't hardly capture anything. So then you took it up and then you'd bring it home. And then the first thing you do is what? Go to that SD card. And find out what kind of Christmas did you get because that's what it, that's what a lot of us call it Christmas it's like Christmas you go out and film and then you go back and look on your SD card and then you get to see unlike the solo and a unique typhoon you got you know in the Phantom you got those my tablet here as you can see here I see everything it sees every time everything it sees I see so it's kind of like the wow factor when you go on and pop in your SD card and you're like wow I didn't realize I was up that high whoa that, look, check out over there, you know? That's what's really cool about that. Because it's like when you film with a screen or whatever, you know, FPV, and you're seeing it. 
it's kind of like when you go through the editing you kind of still remember what you saw and everything with it like this you kind of don't know until you put that SD card in so that's like I say that's I think that's what really makes it really cool I, I, I love the black I think it's cool how they go white bird black transmitter bugs 3 is a black bird white transmitter nothing wrong with that I think it's awesome like they mix it up like that that's really cool because you know some of them try to stay with a black bird black transmitter you know whatever but that's cool that they incorporate like the transmitters because you would honestly think and look at the bugs and grab this for the bugs 3 like if someone come over and said hey let's fly my bugs or whatever and I had the transmitter sitting there they would probably think the white one goes with this and the black one goes with that just color coordinate that's what people do like the red one I haven't seen the transmitters or paid much attention to it but I'm most sure they're black but why didn't it make them red <laughs> you know but anyway I like the colors that incorporate on it the yellow the red the black the white you gotta love them so anyway guys thank you for watching I know I ran it on in this but and another thing you'll notice in my videos uh, I've turned this up to 60 frames per second but when I fly my drone it's kinda like it doesn't want to function well in 60 I don't know if that's because of the movement it's moving too fast or I don't get it but when I do my reviews and unboxing and stuff that's what I'm gonna start doing because I noticed when I went back and watched that footage my footage is clear anyway but this was super clear so hopefully I'll keep it on the 60. This is on the 60 now, so we'll see the difference. It's like unbelievable. Like, you can probably read that pack from there. And I film off of the GoPro 3 Silver Plus Edition. That's that's what I do all my filming with. I have the JVC. It's a little camcorder. I can't remember. It's like a real popular one. I forget the model. That thing does 1080p. It's like, it's crazy. It does really, 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 really good video. But the problem is with that, it's got that little proprietary battery that clips on the back and you don't get no time out of it. I was thinking maybe chopping it up, putting like a battery on the bottom of it or something, like a light bow like this or something. Then you can film whatever. And that thing will film for days. But GoPro is what I use, just in case anyone don't know. Now you know. Yes, it's expensive. I paid like $300 for it when I bought it. Silly me. But this is the video footage it gives you. Really good. So... Again, sorry I ran it on, but thank you for watching.